Now let us uh, see a few questions and answers generally asked in geographical information system that is GIS. So what is geographical or geographic information system? GIS is a system of computer hardware, software, uh, data procedures and personnel combined to help manipulate, analyze and present information that is tied to a geographical location or you can say that to present uh, spatial uh, data, spatial, uh, spatial um, you know, analysis and uh, because the data has to be spatial, this is very important for GIS. Whenever you speak about GIS, there has to be spatial data because uh, otherwise uh, this will get down to any other database management system. What is GIS data mining? GIS or spatial data mining is the application of data mining methods to spatial data. So data mining which is a uh, you know partially automated search for hidden patterns, hidden patterns in the large databases and offers great potential benefits for applied GIS based decision making. So typical applications which include uh, environmental monitoring and environmental monitoring. So a characteristic of such applications is that spatial correlation between data measurements require that use of specialized algorithms for more efficient data analysis is used or is employed. What is spatial ETL? Uh, before I go ahead with this question, you know GIS, uh, as far as GIS is concerned, people will ask about uh, uh, ArcGIS means EC3 products and uh, open source like Quantum GIS etc. So you have to be well versed whenever you are uh, being asked about um, you know specific software stuff also. So let's start with this uh, special ETL. Special ETL tools provide the data functioning uh, or processing uh, functionality to uh, of traditional extract transform load means ETL extract uh, transform and load software but with primary focus on the ability to manage spatial data. Again the special ETL tools they provide data processing functionality of traditional um, you know software like extraction transformation and loading but their primary focus is the ability to manage this uh, spatial data. So they provide uh, GIS users with the ability to translate data between different standards and proprietary format while geometrically transforming the data uh, in the process. What is geostatistics? Geostatistics is a branch of statistics that deals with field data, spatial data with a continuous index. So it provides methods to model spatial correlation and predict values at arbitrary location that is yeah, interpolation. What is hydrological modeling? GIS hydrological models can provide a spatial element that other hydrological models lack with analysis of variables such as slope, aspect and watershed or catchment area. What is GIS technologies? Modern GIS technologies use uh, digital information for which various digitized data creation models are used. So the most common method of data creation is digitization, uh, where a hard copy map or survey plan is transferred into digital medium through the use of uh, say CAD program or georeferencing capabilities. This, these are GIS technologies. Again what is GIS? Uh, this is a different um, you know, definition. A uh, GIS is a computer based uh, program, a computer system uh, which is designed to capture, store, manipulate, analyze and manage present all the uh, types of spatial or geographic data. So this is more, uh, you know, you can say not one liner but a complete definition. Since this acronym GIS is sometimes used for geographic, uh, geographical information science or uh, geospatial information studies to refer to the academic discipline or career of working with uh, this GIS uh, and is a large domain with the broader academic discipline of geoinformatics. What goes beyond a GIS is a spatial data infrastructure, a concept uh, that has no such restrictive boundaries. What is the basic work of a GIS person? How are you going to answer this? A GIS technician or GIS person or a GIS expert works closely with end users to identify GIS data requirements and handle technical issues. So it is also the job of a GIS person to manage data maintenance and manipulation and handle extraction activities along with ex ensuring preparation, planning and updating a variety of maps and drawing to be part of a GIS database. Name the two data structures that have the capacity to hold spatial data. 
the two data structure that can hold special data includes the raster and the vector what is the difference between a geo coding and a geo referencing now geo coding is when you associate a place name or an address with the map coordinates and geo referencing is the process of associating plain digital images taken from a satellite or a plane with a map coordinates so that they can be overlaid on street maps or making them to have the spatial um, you know locations or or lat long information what are the top 5 skills of a gis uh, expert skills in uh, spatial data handling algorithms data conversion uh, model building and database programming so differentiate between gis commands and tools uh, commands do not require interaction with the map okay command do not this is often called uh, or uh, uh, often asked question so that is why command do not interact with the map they just rely on the surface while tools on the other hand require interaction with the map canvas tool they interact with the map, can, map canvas while the command they interact they do not interact with map or canvas at all which complications of the rgis desktop are you familiar with because i earlier said this may be asked because this is uh, the most famous gis uh, software till date and most widely used so uh, you can say i am familiar with uh, you know um, arc gis arc map arc catalog arc toolbox so there are various uh, applications of our gis desktop like uh, you know uh, handling the data uh, and uh, transformation of the projections uh, geo referencing and you know one uh, one format to another format conversion all these things are uh, the applications what are the key factors in determining the period for record retention uh, multiple are there nature of the data government rules policies regarding data retention and data privacy factors so at my you can say at my previous company or if you are here uh, in the previous company that or in the in the college or in the, in the institution they have record retention schedule which i followed to book in order to avoid any loss of data define remote sensing remote sensing refers to the detection and classification of objects or or in earth without physical contact means remotely generating attain through uh, how to attain generally through aerial sensors what is the role of gps in gis you know competent decision can only be rendered by reliable data and though gis is an amazing data management tool using it with gps always helps in validating the data analysis and results now these are few uh, multiple cho choice questions what is cartogram uh, a map drawn by using cad cam tools form of map drawn by using braille for visually impaired a form of map where objects are drawn using non euclidean coordinates or a form of uh, you know map based on photogrammetric principles can you can you guess the answer it is a form of map where objects are drawn using non euclidean coordinates so this is the uh, option so the next one is which of the following is not an example of class interval system used in chloropeth uh, mapping so we have this uh, extremities equal interval user specified percentile and quartiles now the answer is equal interval is uh, in interval based class interval based user specified also you, you can give uh, class so the answer is actually extremities because percentile quartiles they are also class based interval based means what is chart junk chart junk unreadable maps and graphs and necessary detail around maps or diagrams and uh, awful pop music or incorrect plots generated by gis so the answer is unnecessary detail around maps and diagrams these are called as uh, you know chart junk so what does this abbreviation vrml stands for this stands for virtual reality modeling language vrml and uh, what is linked display what is linked display a pilot's head up cockpit display a mobile gis consisting of pda and mobile phone or a set of graphs and maps where items are linked in separate displays a set of linked tables displayed in rdbms the answer is 
this one a set of graphs and maps where items are linked in separate displays so let us come to the other one which of the following are examples of non cartographic output gps coordinate plots charts tables dynamically linked graphs and thematic maps so you might be able to answer this these are uh, actually chart um, tables and dynamically um, linked graphs these are all non cartographic uh, output because cartography means you need to have this maps and images actually map uh, cartography is the art of uh, map making so whichever is related to map these are the cartographic thing otherwise other these are all uh, you know you can say these are the derived outputs now which of the following are important characteristic of sdd sdss this is a software famous software so they are easy to use they do not require user intervention and they incorporate specially explicit model they are designed to make full use of available data they are designed to handle accessibly or exclusively special data so the answers are they are easy to use they incorporate specially explicit models and they are designed to make full use of available data now let us come to the next one uh, gis output can include graphs and tables the answer is true then you should always include uh, as much information as possible in map that is false even you know requirement decides which information has to be placed on a map this is not a you know a criteria a thematic map that displays a quantitative attribute using ordinal classes are called a chloroplast map this is true because this is the definition of chloroplast that a thematic map that displays quantitative attribute using ordinal classes these are a chloroplast map so thank you so much uh, this was uh, very brief uh, questions about gis but uh, you will be getting a very you know detailed uh, presentation on this uh, various questions and answers this was just the basic thank you so much No 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 no